So yeah, once this wave gets under our own tower, uh, I'm still getting there. <laughs> but yeah, once it uh, crashes into our tower, the tower is going to kill off the minions, and it's going to keep my minions healthier. And the wave is going to be on my side of the of the lane. Like if you imagine, like the, the middle of the lane. So if the wave is on my side and all of the minions are same health, it's going to push into you. Right. Do you understand why? Like, do you know why? Uh, yeah, because uh, the reinforcements are going to hit your side faster than my side hits my, you know, crashes into the wave. Exactly. So my wave is going to do damage before yours. So it, so my minions heal your minions faster. Right. So that's basically what's happening here. I'm just going to let this die. Okay, so, so then the wave is probably going to crash right about like where like I'm at right here. I don't know if you want to put a ward over here, but like so like yeah it's gonna crash like right there yeah and what you also notice is i have one extra caster minion so the wave is going to push extra hard into you right because you're doing all that extra damage yeah it's going to do uh the damage the cannon's gonna die faster so that cannon's gonna push it faster yeah so based on what we've been talking about so far what is going to happen after this minion wave dies under your own tower because it's going to crash into it eventually is it gonna reset i don't know we'll see uh i mean i i would feel like it reset either that or it would come back to right here because well no you know it doesn't reset naturally unless you do that right because i'm pretty sure that uh the like if you just leave minions right you just let them attack each other they'll just keep bouncing back and forth in between the towers yeah like they don't ever just naturally reset themselves they can but so it's really rare yeah so like so i guess what i want to know how to do is like how to slow push how to build a slow push like with a bunch of caster minions i don't know how that's useful i'm sure in some situations it is it's really useful and then, okay and then like how to freeze a lane and then like so like so i understand like really really rudimentary stuff about how the minions work like you know, basically like what we just went over so like what i don't get how to do is how to freeze how to build a slow push um and that's it. I don't know what else you can do with many ways. You hit the melee minions. Is it important to only hit the melee minions, or can you hit casters too? Like, does it matter? It does. Because casters um, are going to do more damage. Yeah. So killing casters creates a faster or a, like a bigger wave, because what happens is since you don't have casters, you don't your minion wave doesn't do enough damage, or it doesn't do as much damage. So it's going to take longer for the minion wave to like kill, kill the uh, kill my wave. So it's going to like create, basically like if you think about it, melee minions are like tanks, and caster minions are like uh, damage dealers. Yeah, that's so I mean. if you kill the damage dealers, it takes a lot longer for the minion wave to like kill the enemy lane. Right. So so if you take out the the caster minions. What you're saying is it's going to build us like a a slow push from your side like a big wave because they're they're not going to they're essentially there's going to be a bunch of minions and no damage going to them so all right so what is building a slow like building a slow push and like what's the advantage to it so like how would you go about like building it and like why do you like what do you use it for Usually you want to do this when you're uh, going to dive somebody. Okay. Because if you think about it, imagine... Hmm, imagine you guys were under the tower there when the two, wave, two waves of minions crash. But imagine if my mid laner and my jungler were both side and we killed you under the tower there. You're going to miss like two waves of minions and a cannon wave. That makes sense. So, so you're kind of like setting up a not only a, a death and some XP loss and gold loss, but like a bunch of XP and gold because... Yeah, a massive wave loss of XP and gold because you lose the, lose the waves. 
So like, could you set that up, right? Like, could you set up a slow push and then ping your jungler to like come down to help? Yes. Like, I don't know. Yes. Like thirty seconds ahead of time, and then they come down and help, and you kill one of them or both of them. Yeah. And not only are they behind that, but I mean, what? There's depending on the point of the game. I forget when it switches to every other wave for cannons, but yeah, they're missing almost like 200, 250 gold, right? You know, something like that, which is almost a kill. Yeah, not only that, but they're going to miss the second wave as well. Because if there's two waves under tower, your next wave, like let's say that uh, you guys are building up a slow push on us, right? Like right here, it's going to slow push into us and there's going to be like two waves of minions under our tower. Actually, I'm going to walk up here to my... Yep. Like right here. The next one is going to back, going to uh, reinforce this real quick. So let's say that you guys kill us right now. We die. And you clear this minion wave. This minion wave, does, wave doesn't exist. If you hit it now, like, just hard shove it. So we're still dead. Me and the ADC are still dead. We just lost one wave, we lost the second wave, and now because you killed that wave, we also we are also going to miss the third wave. Okay, so here's a, another example of the of the breeze. So you have four more minions than us and a cannon minion. So the way we can always be stayed here because it's always going to push into us. So if I just stay here. And let these minions kill us, kill them. So it's gonna freeze. It's gonna freeze like right here. Yeah. What you, what you can do or should do is just walk here and walk into the bush that you're standing in, and we just infinitely keep this loop going. Because they can't walk up. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that again? What were you saying? Yeah. So sorry. the thing that I just did, because there are like there were like five or so minions more than us, or more on your side than on my side. Mm -hmm. So it's always going to push into us. So what we can do is once we see that ah there's a there's a freeze coming up, what we can do is walk into this bush and just continue this loop infinitely. Okay. So you're walking into the bush what to pull the aggro? Yeah, on? I pull the aggro and then walk into the bush so I lose it. So these minions will start aggroing my minions. Okay, so you're basically holding the attacks until you until they get exactly where you want them to like yeah damage wise yeah okay uh let's see if you can pull it off i'm gonna push this in so you can try to do the freeze or uh, yeah let's say that we're really bad at the game me and my adc and we start hitting the wave so what happens right. now is your minions are going to die faster because i hit the wave so if you wait until your minions die and then walk up to draw the aggro of the minions, and then walk back into the bush once the next wave comes. You're going to create a freeze. Actually, I'm going to hit this one more time. Yeah, so if you walk up now, yeah, and then walk back in. Yeah. So now the wave's going to freeze right there. The wave should push into you. Uh, because so I have just, more minions. Or, or sorry, you have more minions. So, so if I didn't walk up and do that, like take that aggro, the only reason I'm walking up to take the aggro is to stop them from moving further, right? Yeah. Is that is that that's the reason? Yeah. I don't mean to keep asking all these dumb questions. No, 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 it's fine. As long as you like get to understand what I mean and what should be done. All right. So, how do let's just say the enemy is like freezing, like on me had like on me and my adc how do you like let's just say yeah you know, you're you're the enemy team right you have it the wave frozen like right here how do we how do we break a freeze isn't i mean the freeze is pretty much under your adc's control isn't it like we can't really break out of it yeah you need your jungler or somebody else to help it out if you can't push it out on your own you can't do it on your own that's why it's so powerful because to break a freeze when you're behind, you have to have somebody else there to help you. Otherwise, you die. That's why it's so powerful to do properly. When you say somebody else to help you, like, um, like yeah, you're... Why you why, like to come in to 
like shoved the wave all the way into tower. Yeah. Because what happens? Okay, okay so actually, I'm gonna give this uh, give an example here. Let's say that uh, you can't walk up here two v two, right? So let's pretend that your channel comes and helps helps us push the wave. Like if you walk up now and just hit the wave, right? Your channel just came. Nice. The wave is under the tower. What's going to happen now is it's going to push back into you. This is what people call bouncing. Right. Because we hard or because you crash the wave into the tower. What happens is it's going to make it so our minions are going to be reinforcing faster than yours. So it's eventually going to hard shove into you guys again. Because if you let this wave be now. So that's like what you do when you like before you back or like you get a kill and you should like, let's just say you kill the ADC, you always shove the wave into the tower because then it's going to bounce the, the wave back to you. Exactly. Yes. That's why you I always push. Like yes. Because what happens is yeah. once you kill it, once you kill somebody on the enemy team and then push it right into the tower, it's going to bounce back back into you guys. So what what that means is they have to come forward to farm if they want to do anything. Because yeah, because as you can see, the minions are walking or pushing back into you because you uh, crashed into the tower and the and this minion wave had to like fight with your minion wave before they could push out. Because yeah, again, it's not at the middle of the lane. Both minions are have equal health. Yours gets reinforced faster. It's going to push back into me. So you never want to like if you're ahead you essentially never want to like there's not really ever a time you're going to be shoving the wave unless you get a kill right that you don't want to shove the wave because then it gives them the ability to freeze on their side and, and farm safe right generally speaking no no but okay, well, then but if you can kill or if you can take the tower really fast, like you have a, a Caitlyn, a Tristana, something like that, and you want to take the tower really fast, then you like, even if you're winning, you're just hard shoved because you want to take the tower and then walk somewhere else. But generally speaking, if you're winning and you can kill the enemy bot lane, well, you want yeah, to keep I was the wave here. More so in, a, in like a losing situation. Like if you're losing, you don't want to shove the wave. No, 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 no. That's your tower because they can just freeze it, and then you have to walk up to farm. Sorry, I don't mean. To yeah, that that's the worst thing you can do if you're ahead, pushing the wave, unless you can uh, bounce it back. Which means that if you walk up right here and walk hit the minions, like let's say you're really far behind, your jungle comes, you break the freeze, right? Right. So because my minion wave is coming up now, and your minion wave is going to die to the tower. It's going to like create mo much more minions on my side of the lane. So it's going to do more damage to you, your minions. So it's going to push back into you. This is the only only time you want to push in when you're behind. Is to bounce the wave back into you guys. Okay, that makes sense. Because what's going to happen is if you bounce the wave into back into you and you're behind, you just get to like uh, prime it out. Right, so now, I mean, it's gonna reset. Oh uh, no, so it's gonna push into you guys, just slightly. So basically, yeah, okay, so this is starting to make sense. I know it doesn't sound like it is, but I'm just trying to think, like, instant, like, when I'm playing, right, in scenarios, like, what's the best way to control the wave? So, like, if we're ahead, right, and we, can, and we get a kill, obviously, you know, you shove the wave in because you want to starve them out that golden XP rather than just last hitting. Right, so that's the right thing, generally speaking, to do. I'm not saying in every situation, but is that, generally speaking, what you want to do? Yeah. Back this way. Yeah, I understand. Here, so let me try it again. So, I'm just going to... Uh... So, now that the way is pushing towards me, right? Yep. Uh, if I... So I like pull it like right here. So I have four minions. So that's gonna freeze it right here, right? Yeah, it's always going to push into you if you have four minions, or if the enemy team has uh, four more minions than you. So you want to try to keep a freeze up. You want to try and keep the minion count just even. Yeah, that's what you're trying to do, right? Mm, 
not even like it should always be four four more minions on your side because as you can see now there's five minions alive because there's a cannon wave so it's a little bit stronger than normal wave right but yeah you can just infinitely keep it here 